Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of February the 1st through to the 7th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. See what's going on for Cappy. First up, we have the Tower in reverse, followed then by Major Arcana the Moon in reverse. Next, we have Major Arcana Death card upright, followed then by the Five of Pentacles reversed. And lastly, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright. So, for your overall energy, Cappy, you have that of the tower in the reverse position. The tower in the upright position can point to shocking news, things you didn't see coming, things coming out of the blue. Could be a chaotic situation, could be a disaster, a small disaster, a large disaster. The sky's the limit when it comes to the tower and it usually comes as quite the shock. Now, when the card is inverted, and this can be representative of bypassing what could have been a disastrous situation. So say you were heading down a road, a Capricorn, and you're like, oh, I don't see this ending very well. Perhaps it did end up, end up being okay after all. So sometimes, especially we're coming off of full moon madness, Maybe just before the full moon, something was headed in a direction. It looked pretty bad, but then something turned around. Whereas it often does happen. That's why I call it full moon madness. Don't get caught up in the drama. That's like five of wands stuff that week before the full moon when everybody starts freaking out. And then by the time the actual full moon comes in and then days after, nobody cares about that situation anymore. So sometimes that can be the case with the, the tower in reverse. Other times this could be about, you know, Maybe there's hidden information, important information that's going on behind the scenes that's being suppressed. Maybe it needs to come out, but it's not. It's Maybe it almost came out, but it was, you know, stuffed under. Sometimes that can be the case with the, the tower in reverse. Other times it could be, well, we were headed down a road. All of a sudden we saw something. We realized, oh, or sensed it. Maybe we used our intuition. Say, for example, you were going to take a road trip and you decided, Oh, wait a minute, I'm not 100% sure, you know, if um, if my car is ready for this trip. And you decide to take it in and have it looked at and somebody says, oh, wow, good thing you brought it in now because had you been on the road, this would have happened. So you see, it's one of those kinds of things. Now, it's going to be different for all of you. Only take what resonates, remember. Now, it's, it looks like a, the, the beginning of the week's pretty intense for you, Uh <laughs> Capricorn. We've got the uh, the moon here in the <clears throat> reverse position. This is Pisces energy. So the moon in the upright position can point to misunderstandings, can point to, um, you know, things looking one way when they actually aren't. It could be where we are being deceptive to ourselves, like self-deception can be representative of somebody else being deceptive towards us. But when the card is reversed, this is where clarity comes in. We see the situation for exactly what it is. So if someone's trying to pull the wool over your eyes, Capricorn, you manage to see through, you see through the veil. Now for some of you, this is, this is what happens because as a result of you seeing the situation clearly for what it is, you manage to avoid what could have been a disastrous situation. Maybe somebody was leading you down a road that could have been not good for you, but you saw it just in time. Could be the case for some of you. For others of you, you're just seeing a situation very, very clearly now. And it's always good when we have that clarity because then we know exactly where to go. Now, the next card up here is the death card. This is a Scorpio card. So far, you've got Pisces and Scorpio here. <laughs> Uh, this is a card of that represents transformation. Something needs to transform or come to its natural end. So we need to either change something up. For some of you, it could be your finances, could be with your health. It could be a health scare even for some of you. Maybe some of you see that, you know, the situation could be disastrous. You see through it and you like, oh, wow, I need to, you know, get myself checked here. And you realize that, you, you know, you took care of the problem just in time. Could be health for some of you, could be finances for others of you. Maybe you're about to invest in something and then you realize, whoa, and you pulled out the last minute. Maybe that wasn't a good thing to invest in. Um, others of you, this could be about a relationship. Maybe you see the, 
the clarity you see the light in terms of somebody you're dating or something like that and perhaps you're like no we need to change something up here it's not good the way it's going right now so we need to change it up so <clears throat> There's something going on here, uh, Capricorn, at the beginning of the week, but I think you catch it. Whatever's going on here, you catch it and you realize that I need to change this up a bit. So you change it up a bit and you manage to bypass what could have been a bad situation. Now, moving on towards the weekend, and you see the Five of Pentacles here in the reverse position. The Five of Pentacles in the upright position can point to... Um, you know, feeling abandoned, feeling like somebody has abandoned us, left us out in the cold. Um, could be anything from, you know, work situation to romantic situation to friends, family, what have you. When the card is inverted, however, this could be where we have either let somebody back in that we have abandoned or if they have abandoned you, perhaps you're letting them back in. Others of you, this could be about finances. Sometimes the Five of Pentacles can be representative of the feeling like we don't have enough resources to be able to do the things we want to do. When the card is inverted, however, this can point to uh, feeling that we actually do. You know, whatever it is, the situation, the threat passed us by. Could have been a financial situation for some of you. Perhaps you were worried that you didn't have enough money and it turns out you do. That could be... Um, definitely the case for others of you could be that you thought somebody was going to leave you or abandon you and they didn't uh again the possibilities are endless when it comes to a reading like this <laughs> it's very intense reading of course capricorn right <laughs> and the last card you have is the exciting eight of wands if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure you guys got this in your february monthly as well there's something going on here with a lot of communication there's maybe it starts here in the, at the end of this first week for you capricorn communications start vamping up or this could be you have a lot of running around to do sometimes the eight of wands can be the arrows of love find their mark somebody could be zeroing in on you or you're zeroing in on them and there's a lot of communication going back and for maybe for some of you it's someone from the past who left and now they're back on the scene <clears throat> For others of you, this could be about a lot of emails, text messages going back and forth. Maybe you're trying to close a deal. Maybe you're work for yourself and this is a lot of offers or a lot of uh, clients perhaps coming in. There's something going on here. Could be it's right at the tail end of the week. Maybe some of you have to do a lot of running around or travel. Uh, this can indicate sudden travel. Maybe you have to travel somewhere to go uh, meet somebody, see somebody, or close a deal or something like that. There's uh, lots of uh, communication, lots of movement happening here in this week. Wow, that's this is a crazy reading. <laughs> Capricorn, you'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below if this is resonating and how so. <laughs> I do want to know. So that is your reading, Capricorn. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.